Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. One day I'm gonna have to, like, go in and actually finish this mod that I have half-baked made. Except it's not even half done, it's like 0.01% done, and I've just kind of, like, given up on actually starting to work, or actually continuing to work on it. But one day I'll actually go back to it and, you know, fix the fact that those shrines kind of disappear out of no nowhere. We got Table Tech Shotgun again. I say again because there was a run not too long ago where we started with Table Tech Shotgun as Paradox. Not that I'm really going to complain about it though. Table Tech Shotgun is a pretty good get early game as Paradox. You can output a lot of damage with that shotgun. And it's also just... It's fun. It's a fun item to use. Like, we just flipped a table and killed an enemy in one shot, and there's bouncing table tech shotgun bullets still bouncing around. I like it. We also got Cold 45, which is a pretty decent weapon. I'll admit it, this is a pretty good start. This is like a really good start. Spore Star, hello, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I'll admit it, this is a pretty decent start. We've got some cool items to start with. Are they amazingly OP? Well, no, but they don't have to be amazingly OP. They just have to give you a nice advantage early for them to be really worth it, and we have. Do Table Tech Shotgun rounds always home like that, asks JMC. Yes, is the answer. Table Tech Shotgun shots have bouncing bullets and homing bullets already applied to them. And I understand the reasoning for that. The reasoning for that is so that you don't have to, like, wait for an enemy to be in front of a table before you flip the table. You can just flip the tables whenever, and the shots are relatively likely to land. It's very nice because a lot of times you can't really position an enemy in front of a table because the enemy doesn't want to walk into the table, they want to walk around it because they know that they can't pass through it. You know, their AI is smart enough to be like, I have to walk around the table. But. You know, having the Table Tech Shotgun shots bounce and home is a, is a nice way of making them able to, to do their damage more frequently. I like it. Now, I also do wonder... What happens if you have something that provides those status effects? Will your Table Tech Shotgun shots get even stronger homing? Will they also get hot lead? Will they also get plus one to bullets? Oh, there goes my table. You know, I don't know the answer to that question. Yo, two keys is ridiculous. I don't really know the answer to that question, but I would certainly hope that Table Tech Shotgun Shots still had the passive benefit, because it seems like an item that would have the passive benefit of, uh... Your passives. So I like it. Not quite. <laughs> And I'm, I'm really trying to use Table Tech Shotgun as much as possible. I really want to try to make it so that I can, uh... Kill all the enemies in a room only using the Shotgun Blast. And sometimes it's working. Not perfectly, but sometimes it's getting close. Yo, we have Particulator. Particulator is a really, really, really good get. In fact, it's so good, I'm not even going to worry about buying the Flash Ray. I'm just going to go open up a chest, which gave us... The old coin, or the iron coin. Dude, I'll admit, I like iron coin. I like having a little, mm, okay. I like having a little bit of extra purchasing power. Mm, purchasing power, aka okay, puppy power. Scooby-Doo. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where are you? I haven't seen any Scooby-Doo in like a million years, but I do remember uh, puppy power. I, I remember, I have a vague memory, I don't know if this was something I watched or something like... A cousin watched or something, but they had like a, a Scooby-Doo VHS... Cartoon animated film of them being in like a haunted house or something like that. Yeah, and it, it was Scrappy-Doo. It, it had Scrappy-Doo... And some other like characters that I don't remember the names of. It's been such a long time. Mm, puppy power. Yo, I would like the flash ray. Can't afford it, that's no problem. We have two keys, we're gonna go down to the oubliette with the Winchester rifle, and particulator, and table tech shotgun. It's nice. 
Iron Coin also raises coolness. You're right, JMC. Iron Coin does increase the coolness, but only increasing coolness by one or two points. It's a pretty, um, Lord. It's a pretty, um, difficult thing to see the value of on a run, you know, because you have to, you either have to stack up the coolness a lot to get a big benefit from it, or you just have to play for a long time to, you know, subtly get a couple of extra item drops over the course of a run. But that is correct, you know. Iron Coin will give us a little bit of coolness. I'm mostly invested in the cheaper shop prices, though, because it's more noticeable, it's more immediate, you know. And additionally, you know, the coolness, it only gives us active item, sorry, active item, it only gives us additional item drops right now because we don't have another active item. You know, the extra coolness, who cares if we have 50% coolness on an item that we can only use three times. And that doesn't even have like a, a real cooldown on it. The cooldown on it is you just wait four seconds. <laughs> But, still like it. You know, anything that gives us a, a minor benefit will take, obviously, but it's not the uh, largest benefit passively when you're not trying to immediately buy something. I think that the Iron Coin, it, it's a good item to get early. Late game, it's kind of garbage. <laughs> Unle uh, although I suppose that's why you use it to clear out rooms on Bullet Hell or something like that. Egg Maestro, thank you very much for the cheer. That's a long bit of text, but I, I endeavor to read it fully. Thank you very much for enjoying the YouTube runs, because, uh, you know, it always, it always makes me feel good to notice that someone has a uh, positive thing to say, you know. I always enjoy the uh, fans stopping in and saying, hey, I enjoy your runs. It's like, oh, you're welcome. Who is the highest priority target for me when I fight Trigger Twins? Ask Spewer Star. Um, Spewer, I don't have a target on Trigger Twins. I just go for whichever one is closest. And the reason why is because ultimately they're the same enemy. Technically they have different attacks. Um, but ultimately, I just don't care about which one I kill first. The most important part of that fight is just making sure you kill one of them. You know, they're, they're roughly equivalent dodging difficulty. Well, we're definitely getting uh, <laughs> flak shots. That's a lot of flak shot action, oh my lord. But yeah, I, I don't really care which one I kill first. The most important consideration on the fight is less what their attacks are and more um, like where are they positioned, how are they moving, is one of them next to a wall, is one of them in the open, did one of them stop moving, is one of them, you know, that kind of stuff. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo and Ghoul's School. That one does sound extremely familiar. That might be the name of the old Scooby-Doo movie that I remember from a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Scooby Doo, where are you? Lord Viper, you're, you're confused on how to unlock the Excalibur. What does it mean by charting all five secret rooms? Non secret rooms? Charting all five. No oh, um, Lord Viper, Excalibur, what that means is you have to help Map Man. AKA the Link knockoff. You gotta help him map out five floors. Chamber one, chamber two, chamber three, chamber four, chamber five. So, once you get Map Man, all the maps on all five floors, not in the same run, you know, across all of your runs, once you just do them all once, you get the unlock. That's how you get Excalibur. What do people call him, Lonk? <laughs> no camera. I mean, I I wanted to get flak bullets first because it's a passive, but ideally, nice, ideally we'll have the money for the camera. Or a way of stealing. But, uh, yeah, flak bullets is, is a fun one. I like getting it. Dino Caden says, kill shades first. Again, it, 
I don't really care which one I kill first. Just as long as they die. <laughs> Just as long as they die. Camera is 43. Keys are 24. Ugh, I'm sorry, camera. Because I have so much money, JK, I can buy both sets of keys, and I really do want to get both sets of keys. The camera is a fun item, but I think in this situation, I just want to open up everything. So, Lord Viper, I don't think you need secret rooms in order to um, successfully map a floor. You only need to do all the main rooms. And to unlock the Excalibur, you don't need to do secret floors either, so you don't need to need to do the, the oubliette, you don't need to do the abbey, etc, etc. Um, yeah, I guess we're done. We can't steal. We got nothing else. So, uh, we out. We do have some pretty good weapons. I really like Luxton Cannon and JK, Winchester in particular. Flak Bullets is amazing. It's nice. Why would you buy the camera when you could buy a key that blue chest could have anything in it, even the camera? <laughs> I mean, I actually don't know if that's correct or not. You know, I don't know if an item appearing in a shop means it can even appear in a chest on that current floor. However, I do like the RNG role of just opening up the chest and seeing what's inside of it, you know. I like the RNG role of being like, okay, Let's open up two random blue chests and see what we get. Because, I mean, here's the thing. If I manage to get a item that let me steal, that I could have picked up the camera anyways and gotten the benefit from the item as well, would have saved me money technically because it would have been cheaper to open up a chest than it is to get the camera. You know, I like my keys. I like my keys. The allure of the mystery box. It's the allure of the, uh... Uh, sur what is it? Sur su surprise gameplay elements? <laughs> what was it that EA called their loot boxes? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Do we get flak bees? We get flak bees, lovely. It's the allure of surprise gameplay mechanics. There you go. I don't want to know what I'm going to get. I want to be surprised. This is not the gun I wanted. I will say, the, um... Flak shots with Particulator? They're doing alright. They're doing... alright. Hmm. <laughs> Bees and Flack. Yeah, we get, we're gonna have to get Cheese to rename himself to Cheese, Bees, and Flack. Or us. Oh! Luckily, I deposited the uh, old crest, but these things are not moving the way I want them to move. It just took three damage. These things were not moving in the direction that I wanted them to move, and they were stopping way too early, and then I got mind flooded. <laughs> Stefanix Dorf, hello, welcome. How you doing? Okay. I mean, let's be honest, though. I can't complain at all about this run. We've got freaking Particulator, Flak Bullets, a ton of ammo, Luxon Cannon. I also do like Flak Bullets for, um, Helping clear out these types of enemies that have a, a. They're numerous, but they have low HP. Don't break that. You wonder if people in the YouTube comments ever talk about the people in chat. Man, this milk jug, they really sound like a freaking dick. <laughs> Man, I really hate bound Hades. Uh. Sounds like he's the... He lays down the law regarding the quotes. I don't know, there's, there's not actually a joke in there. I'm just kind of spitballing. Uh, you know what? Let's see what we get. 
Nano machines. Extra armor. Sponge. Pitchfork. What does the sponge synergize with? Soft air. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just looking and I'm noticing that sometimes when the uh, the bee splits, it's a red or it's a yellow bee, and sometimes when the bee splits off of the wall as a flak shot, it's a black bee. You noticing that? We're sometimes getting black bees. Look at that. It's weird. Um, do we have enough money for a key? Oh, we definitely have enough money for a key. Let's open up the blue chest. I want to see what we get. Skull spitter. Gotta love it. Might even be a boss killer, but we're probably going to use it with the uh, particulator. I will say, um... <laughs> Amoconda does not stand a chance against Particulator Flak. The turret got me? Are you kidding me? Couldn't see the shot because there's so much flak going on. Boo! Boo! Get a speed upgrade. Chimera Draco. Hello, welcome. How you doing? Um, hope you enjoy yourself. We don't got the money for the Nod Key. Let's get the hell out of here. I thought Particulator was Mass Shotgun, said Dino Caden. You know, it's weird. They do both fire one giant burst when you pull the trigger, which then fires multiple other projectiles. And You know, I never really thought about it like that. They are very similar. I guess the reason why I prefer a weapon like Particulator is because it doesn't matter what your range is. The Particulator shot will still cause the other projectiles to come out, even if you're at a, a close range. It's also just better. <laughs> well, maybe it's not better, you know. Mass Shotgun can do a lot of damage and it has more ammo, but Particulator is easier to use. Thanks, B. There's no chat rules, just don't be a duck. Geese are geese are apparently okay, because no one's banned cheese and geese. <laughs> Anders Ooze. Hello, welcome. You think that the Twitch redesign is awful? Alright, so I, I mentioned this before I started the actual stream here, but I, I don't like the new Twitch design because it's pure white text on pure black background. And even though that technically does provide good contrast for readability, it it it's, doesn't seem like a very good redesign. Like, yes, I can read white on black, but it's not something I want to spend a long time watching, right? You know, it, there's, there's probably studies and actual science behind it, but I'm pretty sure that just having white on black makes for very bad contrast, makes it kind of hard for people to watch. I think it's just, it doesn't seem that good. And the, the text itself, the font, it all seems like it has the same font family. And it seems like the, the text is too weighty, like it's very bold. All the text is bold, which kind of makes it all... just kind of blend in a little bit, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it, it, I don't like it. I kind of hate the push towards more simplistic designs in web. Like... Yeah, simplicity is a good form of a design, but you can still have complex designs that look good. Not everything just needs to be a color schmear. I don't know. 
I'm not a freaking designer. I don't design anything. Unless you pay me, Dodge Roll, I'll design all the new uh, synergy items for your Exit the Gungeon sequel. It's not really a sequel. Half quarter sequel, maybe? Really, it didn't kill you? There we go, there's our Particulator ammo. I've been a little bit neglectful in actually getting the ammo drops for it, but it has been done. All right, you know what? Dude, Table Tech Shotgun is really fun. It's really good. Oh, really thought I'd be able to kill him. What floor is this? This is definitely the Abbey. Oh, I thought he was close to, enough to death. I uh, I like going to the Abbey. I like doing the bonus floors. They're a lot of fun. They are. I'm gonna save the key. We're gonna open up the Sinner Grace chest first. Haven't found any secret rooms on the floor, which is very unfortunate. I'm just gonna fight this guy and kill him. So here you go. Barely a bad roll. Almost had it. It's gonna be a long fight. <laughs> PHT, even Fry. Thank you for the sub. Did I say. Did I thank someone for a follow earlier when they subbed? If I did, I apologize. But thank you very much for the sub. I think September is officially over, even though it's still September. Which is sad, but it's all right. Dude, what? What the? Heck? How the hell am I gonna kill this guy? I have no good boss killing guns. Winchester? Or Winchester shotgun? I feel like I have no heavy DPS weapon right now. It's like particulator Winchester is how I do most of my damage at this point. Darn it. It's Steven with a silent S. <laughs> with a, a non-existent S and a silent PH and the T is silent. Steven? Oh my lord. This guy should be dead by now. I touched him! Because I have a speed upgrade! Oh my lord. Ugh. PhD even is a Ste is a Steven with a PhD. <laughs> I like that one. We like a balloon gun, which is actually pretty good. We do need something that gives us a little bit of DPS, but would have liked something a little bit stronger. Dude, what is up with this floor? There there's nothing here. Okay, we finally found one of the secret rooms. We still don't know where the other secret room is. Never mind, it's right here. <laughs> I just completely forgot that we've already found the crack. <laughs> oh lord. Whatever, it's been done. Get me the hell out of here. Let's make sure we also get a lot of money. Unfortunately, we can't do the uh, rat because we don't have the key for it, but that's okay. <sighs> Darn it. Okay. There's not a lot of HP around, but I still think we go a little bit deep on this. We have a couple of items that give us survivability. And I want money. You guys love making fun of me? Oh, well. Only the subs can make fun of me. Everyone else gets banned. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Still gonna use Winchester Particulator, <laughs> even though that was my uh, boss killer combo against the uh, old king. 
I still want to kill things quickly, and I just don't see myself using any of the other options right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, let's say uh, wanting to use the other options, but I guess right now we are. Out of options. Come on. Oh. Isn't there normally uh, additional enemies that spawn in that room? I was kind of waiting for them, but they never seem to actually appear. Oh well. Yeah, complete waste. <laughs> This is a weird run right now. We have some pretty good items, but nothing that gives us, like, damage, rate of fire, nothing of that sort. That's really what I'm looking for on a run like this. Yeah, we have a bunch of HP, some a few items that make us immune to poison, and, uh, and fire on the ground, and stuff like that, but, you know, I, I'd trade it all for a plus one to bullets at this point. Oh, we got a lot of money. You know, and our guns are just like, okay. <laughs> Not that Particulator isn't great, but, you know, we don't really have anything that synergizes with anything else, so it, just, it all just kind of ends up being okay. Please don't ban me. <laughs> you, um, you can make fun of me, unnamed player. You're okay. You're okay in my book. Everyone else though gets banned. No more exceptions. Um, everyone is white now, so I need to change the color when I paste. Is everyone the same color in Twitch chat? Is that something that the new UI changed? The the new Twitch UI, or does everyone still maintain the fact that they have colors? Cause I still see everyone having colors. Yo, mass shotgun synergy! Is this the good synergy? Yes, it is. Does this also give us a particulator synergy? No. That's okay though, the mass shotgun synergy is pretty good on its own. Milk Jug says, I think someone is on my roof. <laughs> we have a problem with occasionally getting flying squirrels in our attic. Our landlord has to occasionally put out like a fake owl to scare them away. <laughs> and woodpeckers. Flying squirrels and woodpeckers. The most annoying of God's creatures. <laughs> Especially the woodpeckers. When they bang their head against the side of the house at freaking 6 a.m. every morning. There are no flying squirrels? I'm like 90% certain we have flying squirrels. Those are bats. <laughs> um, okay, maybe maybe they just say it's flying squirrels when in actuality it's bats. I could understand that. You know, it's it's nature's flying squirrel. Maybe. But like whenever I've, I've gotten an email from the landlord, it's been like, we caught another flying squirrel, or we got rid of the flying squirrel, and it's always been flying squirrel, but maybe he's just using lingo. I don't know, it's possible. Hades is on the roof. The Lord of the Underworld has come for me finally. What a rude dude. Um, I mean, I really want to use Mass Shotgun, but it's just so bad. Mm. So bad against a boss like this, I feel. Eh, you know what? Maybe it's actually not that bad, because he's so uh, stationary. We can almost always get these shots to hit. Yeah, alright. Aren't flying squirrels nature's flying squirrels? You know, you do have a point. Shock rounds! 
Another synergy. Battery powered. Let's take this for the Luxon Cannon. Do we get shock rounds with the projectiles from this? We do! That looks amazing! <laughs> I love it! Hold on. Let's do this with a uh, more open space. Oh, it's beautiful. It's pulsating! That actually looks pretty dope. It's Shockwave from DD20. <laughs> it is! I have my own Shockwave. Captain Planet. Anyways. Let's get the hell out of this freaking floor, man. Uh, we should blank to try to find secret rooms. We do have some blanks remaining, I, you know, because I <laughs> haven't used any. I know we did find the secret room in the shop, but you never know when there's going to be an extra secret room. It can happen. Parappa, hello, welcome. Am I going to play Spire today? Probably. It's actually a bat. You could get rabies. It's pretty rare, though. As long as you get yourself treated, if you get it, it's probably fine. I don't... Bees, right. I forgot about bees. I need something else to deal with these guys. Um... Please, no. No! I hate when the red mages absorb your bees! <clears throat> You know what? We should have used Mind Cutter. The Red Mages can't absorb Mind Cutter shots. Uh, as long as you are firing the uh, Triple Beam form. So we could have just used that to get, get around that pretty easily. Like right now, let's make sure we do it. Mind Cutter. Just make sure you don't get hit by a bee. <laughs> Altered Beast says you could actually draw some mandalas with those shock rounds. But could you? Wow, two hits on a ghost. F Ghost Man! Freaky Ghost Man! Oh god, I hate it. I still hate how bees make your gun fire multiple uh, sounding projectiles when it's not. It's just firing bees. <sighs> I don't know why it messes with my brain so much. It makes me think that my gun is firing more frequently than it is, and it's like, oh, I have lethal. Nope. You didn't actually shoot that bullet. I don't know why, in my brain, it messes me up so much, but it does. Daniel Caden asks, is it weird if I've never seen anything on Cartoon Network? No. I didn't grow up with Cartoon Network, I didn't have the freaking channel. Didn't have cable. I had uh, three stations. CBS, NBC, and ABC, because they were the only thing that was locally broadcasted. And I grew up just fine. <laughs> I don't even think we had PBS. I think that the signal didn't reach properly. So if I wanted to watch, if we wanted to watch PBS, it would be like all grainy and. I see you. It seems like we are. Suffering a little bit from flak bullet blues. Our frame rate is tanking a little little every once in a while. <laughs> and I think it's flak bullet related. Alright, I should get those guys. Camera Draco, you love the owl hoot sound? adorable for a magical owl that can blank bullets with his hoot
that happened to you in real life. They make a Hallmark documentary out of it. Boy and his owl. A boy and his hooter. There you go. <laughs> Dino Caden, you got Glass Shrine and then proceeded to jump into a pit with the crest. Oh lord. What if there was a synergy with Glass Guanstones that made it so that you didn't lose your crest if you had Glass Guanstone? What about that? Yoink! So, uh, we rule. We have the best run ever. And we have no reason whatsoever to ever want to use anything that's not Particulator right now, because that is going to be awesome. Da -da 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 -da. Well, you know, fine. We'll fight the boss first. It's going to... I'm just going to use Particulator. We get two Particulator shots every pull of the trigger now with backup gun, so, you know, we got our damage sorted. And even if we are using a non-particulator gun, we have flak bullets, so we will occasionally get extra damage by shooting behind ourselves. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Name this episode Hooters. If I remember, I will. We also got Mimic Tooth Necklace, so now we don't need any more, um, don't need any more keys. Oh, there, it go <laughs> there goes the shot bow. <laughs> so because we don't need any more keys, let's make sure we go to Matt Man. Hey, Matt Man. Heroin. We fire bees. Gotta love it. Ranakil, hello, welcome. You're just passing by to say that Witch's bonus round in Dicey Dungeons is an eternal special kind of hell I've been on for a week now that you hate every minute of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... I don't like playing as the Witch in Dicey Dungeons. I feel like the Witch is a little bit too focused on requiring you to have um, good value out of your magic mirror and whatnot, because if you don't get a lot of sixes being rolled, you only get three dice per turn, and then you just die in a couple of turns because you don't get value in your turn. You know, I, one thing I like about playing as a lot of the other characters in the game, I'm not going to do the bonus floor, is that you, you can get three, four, five dice. You can use your equipment reliably, but when you're just playing the witch in dicey dungeons and you get bad rolls and then you get three dice when you're going up against an upgraded enemy who kicks the crap out of you, it's like, okay, well, I've done everything I can. I'm dead. It doesn't feel fair. It doesn't feel good. The witch demands turns of setup to set your spells in place. I, I agree. I will say, though, that the Parallel Universe Witch in Dicey Dungeons is a lot better because of the fact that you get a dice back from... What the hell? You get a dice back... Like, I don't even know what hit me there. N literally nothing hit me. I, I just I exploded and that guy blanked. Or that guy, uh, like, appeared. Um, but in Dicey Dungeons, at least in the Parallel Universe round, you can get value out of the dice that you put into Mirror Cauldron, which is nice. But yeah, it's, it's tough. Definitely not for the faint of heart. Or those who believe in a fun fair experience. <laughs> Dang it! Whenever I shoot one of those guys, I have to worry about the B, and then I forgot to hit the dodge roll. Dino Caden, you have no idea what Sprun is. So Sprun, Dino Caden, is an item in Gungeon where you have an activation criteria for a very strong weapon. The activation criteria could be lighting yourself on fire, flipping a table, taking damage. 
when one of those things happens, you get a strong gun. It's confusing because you don't know what the activation criteria is until it happens, but it's very strong and very fun. Just an incredibly strong weapon. You don't know what your activation criteria is? Could be taking damage, it could be losing armor, it could be losing your last armor, it could be using your last blank, it could be using your active item. Going down to one half heart. It's all bad, it's all bad. Really, that didn't kill you? And some of the activation criteria definitely sucks, because it's like completely worthless. Like going down to a half heart, who cares? If I'm down to a half heart, I need more than a strong gun for 30 seconds. I need HP. Dude, I, don't, I do not see a reason to use any other weapon right now. Oh no! Got him. Yo, gold amulet owl. Dude, this run is incredible. I know we've had some pretty strong runs in the past, but this is just, it's been a, a joy, a pleasure to experience. Everything except for the shop, which has been absolute hot trash. Can it also be your last ammo? Running out of ammo, maybe? I, I wonder, if it's running out of ammo, maybe for a criteria, could you swap to a gun that's out of ammo in order to get the activation effect from Sprun? I don't know, could be. Yeah, the best activation criteria for Sprun is either a Table Flip or Lighting on Fire, because that doesn't require you to take damage, and it's something you can trigger manually, and it's easy to make happen commonly with Tables or with Fire. Dude, this owl is disgusting! Hoot! There's an enemy in the wall. Unless it's like a... Um... No, there's an enemy in the wall somewhere. What the hell? No, he's not! There was no sniper here, but I guess because I, I was standing close to him, it teleported him away. Oh, that was strange. Okay, so my javelin, I believe it. Falling into a pit was your activation criteria? Oh, that would suck. <laughs> yes, let's uh, either spend a blank if you have the... Yo, Neo Tokyo! Uh, spend a blank if you have the... Full Metal Jacket. Or lose a little bit of HP in order to get the Sprun activation. That just sounds horrible. Challenge, rely on blanks to do all of your damage. I mean, it could work. I'm just gonna use my shotgun. It could work, because we have the owl. If we didn't have the owl, it would, you know, be a slog. Or it, I should say it's because we have gold amulet. If we didn't have gold amulet owl, it would be a slog.
Come on. We got him. I will also say, this run has been like a... It, it's gone by really quick. It's been a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just started playing Gungeon 10 minutes ago and we're already at the at the Dragon Heart. Soon to be on Bullet Hell, we're going to be able to clear 3 rooms using the coins. It's just been easy. I haven't been able to actually or I haven't needed to concentrate at all. It's incredible. Best run ever. And mostly, let's be honest, probably due to the Particulator just being incredible. Let's spin our blanks real quick. No bonus chests. Unfortunate. But okay. Too bad there isn't a hint to Sprun. I think that would be really cool. I also think that it would just be nice if Sprun had better activation criteria instead of garbage ones. Can the coins clear mini-boss rooms? I got no idea. I would imagine not, because technically they are a boss room, not a mini-boss room. Like, as far as the game is concerned, they're a boss room. So I'd, I would imagine it can't. He got me. We will pop the uh, the coins immediately. I did forget about it for a second. Yeah, if I had to guess, probably not, because, you know, it's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be a mini boss. You just have it cleared instantly. Feels like you're cheating. What I would like on this run is to not cheat, but I would also like something that gives us a uh, better reload. Oh, thanks, Owl. You gotta love the Owl. Nice little Owl friend. I will also say, it feels a little weird. It feels like the game right now is Pushing enemies away from me when I walk into rooms. Not pushing them, but like teleporting them away. And it feels like on some runs, it doesn't do it as, as hard as it's doing it on this run. Like a, a couple of rooms, like on that room with the snipers. What, what's going on? Uh, whoa, where's the sniper? There must be an, an enemy hidden here somewhere in the statue. You know, it, it, it was so out of the ordinary that it, it felt wrong. And then sometimes I walk into the room and I basically walk into an enemy and I'm like, oh, come on, game, what the hell? It seems like the game is not consistent about that, even though it should be. Very weird. Very weird. Dino Kaden, you played Risk of Rain 2 today and it looked... finished. I mean, it, it looks pretty. Not nearly finished, but uh, it's getting there. I think it's definitely going to be like a 2020, maybe 2021 release. No rad gun? I just don't care. Not like we needed the uh, money anyways, but what are we spending it on? Rad gun? I'm not going to be using rad gun. I'm just going to be using particulator for the rest of it. I mean, if we wanted to, we could use Winchester, mass shotgun. In fact, mass shotgun for the next phase is pretty decent. But we just have nothing else to, nothing else to use. Nothing else that's like truly amazing anyways. Bought it to use it as red gun munch fuel. I don't care about the red muncher as much as you people do. You guys always want me to go to the red muncher and whenever I go to the red muncher it's like, well, I spent eight guns and all I got was a was a glacier. That's what this run was missing, glacier. It's missing a little bit of ice on top. No, we didn't beat the rat. I didn't have the money. Well, 
When I was on Chamber 2, I didn't have the cash to be able to afford everything and the key. We only got the money on uh, the Abbey floor because we had a vampire lady who gave me a lot of money from HP. Shame on me. I know. Kill the Lich with JKAK. Well, let me go back in time and read that message uh, 30 seconds sooner, and then I'll do it. Good run! I mean, amazingly good run. Kind of felt overpowered from the beginning because we had a Particulator on floor one, which is just incredible. And we even had a couple of synergies with it. Not, not super synergies, no, no hard synergies, but we did have double damage, double fire rate, effectively with the backup gun giving us two projectiles and shock rounds. Probably not that much extra damage from shock rounds, but it worked. And flak gun, or flak bullets rather, giving giving us extra value. That's a 49 minute long run that did the Oubliette, at the Abbey. And all of Bullet Hell. Well, not all of Bullet Hell, but enough of Bullet Hell to win. And Gold Amulet plus the Owl. That's insane. That's great. I didn't even get a chance to use JK, AK, Sunlight Javelin, Neo Tokyo, Heroin, or anything else. And we didn't even need the Mim Mimic Toothed Necklace because we had enough keys to open up everything. That was incredibly, incredibly good. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on the new Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.